Shields. We're going right into it right now. On the stage, they already picked. So right now, this seems to be just a button check. The left smash release so come a lot more passive in the recent days. But uh, yeah, DD is showing off his uh, fancy pillar combos. Suey against Osh Asterisk. Just an um, interesting button check here. Less of a button check apart, more of a show off fancy tech skill. Smash Suey likes that back throw. I noticed a lot, Smash 3 definitely likes that back throw, throws them back, moves them with a forward smash, knows when to catch them, especially on certain characters and weights, certain tiny turtles. Uh, yeah. Smash 3 always knows his options, which is fantastic for a mark name, he always knows exactly what he need in a walk to go for a kill, which is great. But, uh, I want to see how that goes against the unrelenting aggression, I'd say, of uh, Team Shastras because they, you know, Sonic and the Falco comp really gives them a lot of, like, stage control, just pure damage and speed that uh, you don't really get from Falco and Marth. Well, Marth is more of a tactical play where you control space with a sword, and it is considered like a natural counter to that sort of fast play because you can just catch them out of that fast dash, but uh, yeah, Captain Falcon is a bullet train, very hard to control as well, so uh, good job there from Ducker. Ducker the only one not on camera right now, a little bit camera train, uh, but uh, yeah, seems content as that currently play. That button check to make sure everything is working. At least I hope that's a button check. It's not. It's not wrong. It's not even slightly. Right now, the uh, m a massive stock lead there from Tastris. Honestly, this dominating, very aggressive team right now. But, oh, the fast turns around from Truck Sui. This is what made them win in that whole, uh, whole and Floats matchup they were in earlier. The, the upset that sent Hole and Floats. Ooh, the shield break there. The shield break against the Falco. You're going to take a fully charged forward smash to the face, and you are not going to survive. That is pretty much the end of that stock. And the end of that game, as a. Uh, Duxui drops the first game against Shastras. And it seems like they're changing the composition up a little bit. I heard the cry of Sheik there from the uh, Smash Bros. commentator. So we could see. Could see Chao turning to a Sheik. He does have a Sheik. High quality Sheik. Another option from his Sonic. Sonic's very fast, but I don't know how it goes up against this particular team. We start on a green hill zone. Seems like it was Ducker that switched to Sheik actually. So uh, Ducker's got a very good Sheik. Seems like he wasn't having faith in his Captain Falcon, especially not in this matchup. I guess the, just the aggression and the speed could definitely just be outmatched by the Sonic and the Falco. So uh, Captain Falcon simply would have lost in this team, whereas Sheik is definitely a very strong character. I said Duck is very character pool coming in strong here. Letting him play very different matchups and switch things up mid match. I think it is a great strength of a team to be able to adapt after one match, one loss, and really pull it back. And it seems like it's paying off for them right now. They are ahead in stocks. Like, they're ahead in two stocks right now, and the percentages aren't even that high. You could get another one here if a oh, unsuccessful good guy from Smash Suing. It looks like he might be falling right now. Yeah. Last recovery is good, but not when Edge hogs. So uh, it seems like it's going to go even here. But Peter's is very high percent, a strong smash from either of them. Could send him flying, and it looks like Smash 2 is going to attempt to go for that Edge guard, but he's not going to get it. He's going to get it back on stage safely. Chuck getting thrown off. Smash 2 jumped the down air there, but uh, 
Chav is already well into the air, not gonna hit him even barely. But, uh, just have to die eventually at 193% DPS is Falco finally goes flying off the boundaries of the stage. But on such a small, small map like Green Hill Zone, it's, the combat is really, really hectic. Things go really fast and they're always very exciting to watch. So, uh, it seems like the early advantage that uh, Luxui has is like. It's really still coming through. It's like very noticeable early on, and now it's Osh Asterisk has been able to uh, make it much more interesting. Like they just brought down. So, oh, so we're getting a crap right on there. Chav stayed at the ledge too long, lost his invincibility, and didn't climb back up, so he wasn't able to get that edge hold. Loving the down smash and PM there with Sheik. Just a fantastic move. A lot of shield pressure, and it hits a ton of knockback, so uh, good to Dugger. Good use of that move right there. Ooh, good neutral air. He's gonna send Falco flying. Sonic is at 199%, and now he's at 0%, because he's gone flying right off the side of the stage. And, uh, Ooh, third down air had landed while he was off stage a second earlier. That could have been a very surprising 17% loss. So, uh, both teams seem fairly even. There is a stock advantage for Doug Sui and then... Ooh, a trade there for both teams. Two stocks left for Shastrisk and three for Doug Sui. Two of them on Sui himself, so... Uh, He's a 77%, but uh, look at that Falco, he's gonna get higher percentage. Sheik, a very good character for building up percent, but uh, sometimes struggles with killing. She has a lot of solid kill moves, but uh, the ones that build percent aren't exactly excellent way to it. So, yeah, forward air, neutral air, things like that, up smash, really excellent kill moves. Everyone surviving a very high percent here. The only one that isn't above 80 right now is Chav Sonic, and he's just he's going up there eventually. Like 150% on the Mar, 0% on the Mar, 153% uh, on the Falco. He's staying in there. Falco, like Fox, is light fast falling, so uh, we'll get knocked back bar. Oh, Falco side B spikes, and that's gonna change so much because he wasn't even that high percent. And Falco just went flying down. That is. That could be disastrous for Duff Sui now. Smash Sui has to. They're both very high percent, so a single forward smash could kill both of them, but uh, there's still two people to deal with. But uh, Chav tries to make it more fair for Duff Sui, kills his own teammate. Uh, interesting play. Didn't work out for him in the end, though. Uh, he's still surviving. He's still surviving. Smash Sui hasn't finished him off yet, but uh, at 194%, there's very little that will work to kill you from a moth, like tilts. Oh, if that's my shit, that was definitely dead Sonic. 206%. Excellent survival there. The Oppie there, finally gonna finish off that Sonic, and I think around 206%. Even a recovery move kills it on 206%. So, uh, yeah. Great match there. I thought that Duck Sui might have dropped that there for a second with the uh, side B from Falco actually spiking, which was disastrous for them at the time because Ducker really had a lot more to offer there and was really just kicked out very early from that last skirmish. So, uh, excellent play by Smash Sui to continuously uh, bring them back through that. A little bit of a slip up from uh, Chav there. Yeah, a little slip up from Chav there might have costed them the game. <laughs> Stage select going on here again. It seems like uh, the small stage would benefit benefit the aggressive team that are uh, uh, they're going to Pokemon Stadium. Two, one, Pretty go. neutral stage for all of them, to be fair. I mean, it's a quite flat open, so it is excellent for Mart's combo game. But at the same time, 
it's not as good as some of my final destination. He's getting that chain grab up on D-Diz. He's just gonna get an easy 32% from nothing with a single grab. So it is blending up into a 1v1 skirmish here, two of them. Ooh, as much as he keeps predicting he'll come up with that up and hit him. So he goes in the guard, but in reality he just loses the edge guard. But a uh, lovely back air there from Sheik. The lovely quick reactions is just gonna send D-Diz just flying there. Yeah, Linda's match it looks a lot more like Ducks who we are taking control early on. Like that Sonic is 120%. Like he's just gonna go flying. He's gonna go flying straight away. And that's, well, it's, oh, it's only a one stock lead, but there is the percentage on Divas as well, which is a big thing. It's like, and now there's another stock gone. So uh, excellent play here from Ducks who they're really, really taking advantage of this stage. Really excellent choice. So uh Just great play from both teams here. So it's split into that traditional skirmish style with Steam. Oh, lovely counter there from Smash Sui. They're gonna switch out people. Just clash in there, Chav and Sui, and look to the fastest out of the map. You see, uh, oh, Chav just getting in the way of that fight. Hitting his own teammate a little bit too, but uh, ooh, Smash Sui failed the ledge guard on that one. But he's gonna keep him off stage. And he's gonna go fly, and that up tilt. Sup sending him surprisingly far. Oh, it looked like a whiffed air dodge to get back on stage. Actually sent him down and killed him. Which is uh, interesting there, little child. That could be difficult. And that looks like another stock lost there, that child. He drops that one. And it looks like Doug Sui are now a whole three stocks ahead. It's actually a huge difference now. Like, they've definitely taken him out. Nooker has been fantastic in controlling his own life right now, using those stocks the best he can, not wasting any of them for like overly aggressive plays that he doesn't need to make, so it's definitely just fantastic from hit play from here to here. Sonic has a lot of good kill options, but a lot of them are very like, clear as well, so... Ooh. But at 173, a lot more kill options become available. And uh, Dunker grinds back on that ledge. The three stock lead is still there. Now it's only Oh, a lot of bodies on fly in there. Two stocks from Dunker. Dunker's Sui gone now. Oh, another one. Chad's going to go down. There's one stock left. And it's two days left on 110%. Can he do the impossible and come back against both of these players? I reckon no, but I'm not going to count him out because... I'm gonna count him out. Oh, never mind. He's got back on stage. Wonderful side beast. Sweet spotting onto the side of Pokemon Stadium. Notoriously hard stage sometimes with the ledges to get on. Sharp had a bit of a problem with it before, which led to his demise. But Nidus is just perfectly sweet spot on these ledges to make sure he doesn't get easily ledge guarded. But uh, at 170%, ledge guards aren't the only way to die. And uh, up these are. 